Alrighty then. We can start. <laughs> we can. No, no, I'm, we I'm we, actually... we actually have started. This is the beginning. Hello, everyone. It's Akatrius, <laughs> and today I'm joined by the reddest man I know. I am red. That's why I'm the reddest, of course. Red the reddest. Uh, last time I finished up a crying children, finally, with... Uh, with my main floor, which is now completely empty, except for Angel still having a page, which is just safe for the plants today. Red has told me that I need a lot of time. Yeah. But you probably want to do the one after this. So apparently there is uh, not one, but two abnormality battles for me to clear on each of at least those four. So... Yeah, all the lower ones. Ah, this is gonna be a blast. Anyway, we don't know what will happen. Anyway, today we're going to do the Malkuth things. Just to, just as a quick glance over, Malkuth has the Cry Children's page. We made a singleton build out of that because of draws are With good. a little bit of funny stuff in it. <laughs> Come on, mate! It would be so funny if we pulled that! Well, also, Setfire thing was also funny. Setfire is really funny. I think that's like the, the card you get from the very first chapter of Steve Dwarf fight. <laughs> then we have uh, Reinhardt holding exactly the page Roland has been using for the crying children. There's no changes there. Got Charlotte on a modified Yuzhin deck, which is powered by Red. The easy Yuzhin deck, the Uga Uga Buga, you might say. <laughs> I I am not completely sold on this yet, but let's let's see. Uh, and we have a, a modified Kim's page. Which I'm actually looking forward to using because, well, as well, everyone who's watched my past episodes, Red, not so much, no, but I have usually run a curve of uh, 2 2 2 1 on everyone. So having a unstable curve or a, a, an uncommon curve for me would be quite interesting, and having a, a 3 feet 3 1 curve is, with, no, with no four costs. It works because, like, you know, Eugene gets, like, a lot of slash dice power because then you can just run really low costs. Yeah, right. So you can, for example, play two Sharpen Blade in a turn and you get massive power. Or, like, three of them on the same turn. If we ran three of them. I mean, we can, but it's also fine. Yeah. Well, we at least want to benefit just a little bit from Singular Strike. If you're wondering what other things we have on here, it's just... Razor Strike, minimum offense. Why do I have minimum offense, offense off that? Uh, only Half Holler, Dark Cloud Blade, and uh, Keeping Strike, I think, or Deep Wound. Those are the three paths you attributed. The rest are Kim's. Yeah, we so. we did put Keeping in Stride specifically because you wanted to use. Uh... Oh wait, no, that's a different page. That's a different page. Actually, we didn't modify this at all. Oh no, we just put in Cloud Blade. Yeah, we just put in Cloud yeah. Blade here for more slash power. I should have done that before, but you know me, I'm stupid. As for as for the Eugen page, we put in high level acrobatics for the tailoring, singular Sounds strike funny. for uh, for two of the crisis, and flaming bat because I'm extra funny. Because why not? As for this page, uh, the oh, only so thing it doesn't, even, it doesn't even matter actually because the only it's... thing Rad has seen is the deck, and the deck works. I know that, but <laughs> what he has seen. It works, so like, I'm not really can, I can't really complain about it. It's just bleed and slash power. That's that's all that is. Rip but space yeah, is a really good card. <laughs> anyway, rip space is so fucking funny. It's so nice to use. Anyway, we're already five minutes in almost. Let's let's just go into Queen Bee. <laughs> Queen Bee time. Oh boy. Seconds warning. I think it's the first, yeah, that's the first second warning to place in Marcos. Well, the only one, I guess. Yeah, that, that's the and first time I hear this theme specifically. Okay, so what's the gimmick? Oh, I have to roll first, right? No, I don't. Oh, no, you can check. Uh, if a character was attacked, to flip one spools and all librarians at the start of the next scene. Uh, if there are two or fewer worker bees alive, to flip two spores and all librarians. If a librarian dies while under the influence of a spore, Spawn of worker bee next scene. Use pages that boost the aggression and loyalty of worker bees every three scenes. Yeah, like the uh, bee gets aggressive like three turns later. 
target the last four that attack with Queen Bee in the previous scene. And if a Queen Bee... Okay. This to me, like, my first fault here is rush down. That's your first fault, but if you look at the Queen's Beast cards... Rush down! Placed <laughs> a lot of defensive dice. Yeah, uh, so now, there is no breaking from this. Well, I suppose that's why you brought bleed, right? Yeah, you can you can do bleed on it. Also, we have a lot of burn. Nice, we open blazing strike. That means we cannot draw it. Yeah, well, prescript, you have draw. That's cool. Yeah, but like having blazing strike in the opener with will of a prescript is actually the best thing that could have happened here. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> uh, this is not going to break through, but... Yeah, again, uh, she turns aggressive like a few turns later. That means she doesn't... she doesn't have a defensive stance. So you can do more damage against her. So you either rush down now or you just wait later. Actually, it would be smart. I, I feel it would be okay to rush her down now, especially with Malkuth. Because then those bees would all attack Malkuth, burning themselves. Because of Plume Escuchian. Well, you're just blocking anyway. Yeah. Three? Oh yeah, these, are, these can be pretty dangerous if left alone. I see. I can just intercept with, that with something else. Let me first see what the others do. Okay, they heal her. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like that. Uh, in that case, Puppet Blockade is probably the better choice to use here. Do we have Blunt Power on her? Yeah, we do. Yeah. So it's 3, 2, 5. Uh, well... <laughs> Two tailoring in the opener. <laughs> That's good, you can use the next turn. True, true. And if you have uh, happy memories, uh, if you get happy memories next turn, you can use it on tailoring. Okay, uh, what do we do with you? Okay, we don't want the empty dice to be attacked. Overcome Crisis is so based on Eugen's page. It's really good. I just use both of that. I mean, this this only she only does more things than there two or fewer worker bees, so it's fine if I kill one of them, or two of them. Yeah. No, one of them is fine. Two of them is not so fine. So we can even up a playing field here. Oh no, she's gonna block him. What shall oh, I do? Oh no, what do you do? Hit it. Also, I kind of want to leap here to just draw. Drawing cards. Do I? Oh, that, that's a free die, so I can still just run into here. There's my favorite Kim. card. Kim Gaming. I could just sharp blade somewhere, flying sword into here. Sharp blade. Yeah, both work. Sharp blade here. Have... Wait, no, I have to sharp blade with the other. This is combat start, right? So this works. If I do it like this. Yeah. Alright! Nice. Nice proc. <laughs> really nice proc. I like it when it shines blue. <laughs> Right, I did not intercept that. <laughs> Oof, Eugene didn't get any emotion. Eugene is still cold. Yeah, Charlotte is one point off, that's unlucky. But... Yeah. <laughs>
I mean, just... You're fine. <laughs> I am, but this is extra funny. Uh, Dimension of Rift to Rip Space is a play here. Actually, no. I can't wait until I have 10. Yeah, you don't want to try it. To be fair, on, on 9, it's still a 99% chance. It filled me once before. Fair point. So you're still gonna block, right? But your blocks didn't really work that out, out that well before. Why would they now? Uh... They all want a piece of Kim. <laughs> Blazing Strike not yet available, I wonder why. <laughs> you can use Refresh Flash like if say if a counter die <laughs> to counter the block dice. That doesn't work, right? <laughs> it works right in the counter. It works right. I don't know if it works, but I don't no, think it will else. work. So like the, if you use not something else, yeah. The B will count will target the counter die. Okay, you're fast enough, so I can safely use it here. Actually, no, that, that will hit. That will hit for sure. I mean, it's nice if it's on a block dying. Actually, you boosting coming damage. I could do it here. It will definitely. Oh, okay, not definitely, but it will most likely block the first four hit, and I think I can survive with one spell. I mean, even if it doesn't block you, it, it's still like reduce incoming damage. This is a bit more of a problem here. Oh. Yeah, this can just be extreme edged. Yeah, yeah. What do you do? Oh. Also, you don't, you don't have, you don't have any draw cards in your hand. That's unfortunate. Oh well, welcome to well, welcome to me gaming. I mean, Venna would have almost no cards in hand after all. Not sure if I want to prevent this or this. I think I want to yeah, prevent this. Yeah, this one. This one. There's more dice on it. More attacking dice. I mean, that I have to. Be I have to do something with her. Uh, it couldn't be. Yeah. Work. Wow. I love it when it shines blue. We might even start. Okay, moment. If you use happy memories on uh, on Eugene, uh you can lower the cost of tailoring every time. Oh, yeah. And remember, you can gain light, uh, and it's the origin based on the original cost of the cards. I think uh, beast aggressive now. Yeah. You count that and as I aggressive? Can... Well, you have to stagger basically. Otherwise, all enemies gain four, four strength, four, uh, five, five, five strength or five haste. So you kind of want to stagger. I think that is possible. It remember she's uh, fatal to everything, fatal to stagger. I think that is possible. I uh, think I think it's possible to. Uh, in, I don't know if it would work out. But... Or you see, rip space. Rip space. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who do I tailor this turn? Go absolutely gaming. Yeah, but this would hit three times. Queen bee. Don't want Queen B to heal too much. Uh, surprisingly, I cannot. Wait, can I not? No, I want to. 
Mm. Yeah, I just focus everything on Queen B so I can get her lowered. And then kill her next turn. Just hit. Yeah. Gaming. I have a feeling I just did the dice in the wrong order. For, uh... For Rose. Oh no, I think uh, the gun clashed with the rest face. And her gun went first. Yeah, Remember? that's what I meant. Wrong order. Yeah. Yeah, because the gun card goes first and it went to Liquid Space first. Uh, but Queen Bee is almost dead, by the way. Uh, she dies this turn. You win. Yeah, like you win. You can just do anything and you win. What will be the funniest light, thing to use? Is bad. Match light is just use anything other than match light. Who was the last person to attack the queen? It doesn't matter, the queen is dead this turn. Yeah, but the worker bees attack them. No, the, if the queen, could the queen beat, just look next turn, just pick someone. Trust me on this. Uh, start the turn. Look what the bees are doing. Oh right, I forgot if she has less than 20%, right? Yeah, <laughs> you win. I, I don't even have to do anything. <laughs> Wait, if a queen bee dies, I win, or do I still have to kill the small ones? I would assume I still have to kill the small ones. And no, if, if no, if the queen bee dies, uh, you win. Yeah. And I just passed. Suppression of queen bee complete. Or complete bead? Yeah, that didn't work. No scene? The next scene is in the next episode. Oh, you mean. Oh, God. Alright, uh. Lloyd is pages. really funny. Lloyd is really funny, but you got it late. Okay, okay. Flow of history on the melody page acquired spores. When hidden fleet, one free burn and one free bleed to attack a next scene. Yo, that's just a better version of Ashes. Yeah, it's just getting hit. And we can use it alongside Ashes. You can. To be extra funny. Worker B. The enemy who dealt the most damage to the selected librarian is marked. Other allies deal 2 to 4 more damage with mar to the marked foe with their attacks. That seems good. It's. I would say it's like one of, it's the worst level two of Malkovs because you get Gluttony is like the best one I would say. Remember, I don't know what the other eight do. I just know what Ashes does. Uh, loyalty. At the start of the scene, all allies gain strength based on the amount of damage the selected librarian has received in the previous scene. One strength would prefer five damage. That, that one is really good. That sounds it's incredibly good, uh, strong, but it's also like only got it to the fair last. What the fuck? Yeah, it's now a free, so like. Uh, look at the gluttony for a second. Gluttony. Uh, when attacking a target who already took damage on the same scene, the plus one to free damage will recover two this to five. This is our best level two. Oh boy! Alright, we got. Anyway, a creepy librarian, it's time. <laughs> How ironic it would be! We set up the page on this angel. This is the page we're gonna use. And it goes on to the, the number angel. <laughs> <laughs> is that actually a huge coincidence? Oh my, that's actually a huge coincidence. Taking a page from Angel and putting it onto Angel. <laughs> that's just funny. Now it's time. So yeah, Angel or our or last person, last librarian just has a blood build. It's literally just a blood build. It's based on puppets. Not that... Not that... Uh, not that... Yeah creative or it's, anything it's just really good so it just works it it works and as the, as the great really great Todd Howard would say it just works have you prepared yourself to see the final episode no <laughs> no 
<laughs> yeah, fine, I'm doing it. Yoksaichin Kulganangisto. 지금의 자신에게 하등 도움이 안될 테니. 과거를 안다면 적어도 같은 실수를 반복하지 않을 수 있어. 도움은 될수 있겠지. 하지만 그 과거를 돌이키는 고통까지 감내해야 하는 걸까? 전에 말했듯 도시에서는 자신을 비추어 볼수 있는 시간이 짧아져 가거든. 그러니 도시 사람들로부터 그들이 태어나기 이전의 일, 특히 자신과 관계 없는 일들을 알아내는 것은 어려울 거야. 제대로 담고 있는 사람이 없을 테니까. 아니, 다들 담고 있을 거야. 들여다볼 용기가 없는 거지. 난 나머지 시간까지 제대로 기억하고 기록할 거야. 도서관과 로보토미, 그리고 그 이전의 일들. 이 모든 피로 쓰여진 역사를. 직원과 환상체, 수없이 반복했던 고통과 죽음. 그리고 외면 끝에 도서관이 세워졌지. 너도 다를 법 없어, 말코트. 맞아. 나도 마찬가지야. 도시도 마찬가지일 테지. 첫 번째 삶에서 카르멘과 함께 했던 우리의 일. 두 번째 삶에서 엔젤라 너와 함께 했던 모든 것. 그 모든 아픔을 제대로 마음에 새길 거야. 엔젤라 너야말로 누구보다 과거를 기억하지 않으려 애써 외면하고 있는 거잖아. 어떤 과거라 해도 똑같을걸? 인간이 다른 인간을 죽여 무슨 일이 벌어졌고 어떠한 상태가 되었다의 반복이겠지. 아, 도서관이라면 인간이 아닌 것이 인간을 죽였다는 차이점일 뿐. 과연 말코트, 네가 하고자 하는 기록에 의미가 있을까? 하지만 반복하는 역사라 해도 앞으로의 미래가 반복일 거라고는 장담할 수 없어. 오히려 역사가 피를 되풀이하기 때문에 그 피값을 헛되이 하면 안 되는 거야. 과거의 흘린 피가 미래의 가능성을 보여줬으니 살아남은 사람들은 그들이 열어준 새로운 길을 갈수 있어. 벤젤라도 분명 그 시작부터 이어져 지금까지 온 거니까. 말은 쉽지. 혼자 다 하는 것처럼 말하는 건 봐주기가 힘드네. 반복하는 역사 속에서 의지를 세운다고? 내 시작. 네가 내 처음을 쉽게 입에 담을 자격이 있을까? 벤젤라! 너야말로 그 처음을 인정하지 못하고 있잖아. 정말 하나도 안 닮았어요. <웃음> 하지만 아이 씨, 당신 역시 분명히 알잖아요. 당신은 1번을 누르면 딸기맛 소다를 내놓는 자판기를 원했나요? 그럴지도 몰라. 그렇다면 이름이라도 정해주세요. 그런 표정 지어도 저는 어쩔 수 없어요. 설계자가 이름을 정해주는 것이 규칙이잖아요. 기계의 이름 따위는 네가 좋을 대로 해. 저한테 미루지 마세요. 엄연하게 설계자는 당신인데. 당신이 만든 기계 앞에서 직접 불러주세요. 바로 앞에 저 문이에요. 너는 지옥에 처박힌 우리를 이끌어줘야 하는 기계. 앙겔로사, 엔젤라. 아인, 당신을 기억해요. 웃음이 따뜻한 사람이었죠. 결국 기계일 뿐이야. 선생님. 제가 무엇을 잘못했나요? 네가 이해해줘, 엔젤라. 아직 저분은 준비가 안 됐을 뿐이야. 시간이 해결해 줄 테니 너무 걱정하지 마. 벤자민, 한 가지 물어봐도 되나요? 응. 내가 답해 줄수 있는 거라면 무엇이든. 저에게는 모든 것이 느리게 보여요. 
당신의 몸짓이 너무나 느려요. 입을 열기까지의 순간도 제 몸조차도요. 몸이 생각을 못 따라가는 것만 같아요. 그건 엔젤라. 백배누리게 시간을 감지하도록 설계해서 그래. 왜죠? 앞으로 해야 할 일에는 여러 비상 상황이 있을 거야. 엔젤라, 네가 누구보다도 먼저 그런 상황들에 대처해야 할 거고. 더구나 네가 보는 모든 것을 생생하게 기억해야 할 거야. 그렇군요. 제가 맡을 일은 무엇인가요? 곧 알게 될 거야. <웃음> 너에게는 곧이 아니겠지. 미안해, 엔젤라. 왜 사과를 하세요? 우리가 그분과 너에게 몹쓸 짓을 한 것만 같아서. 자, 내가 몇 가지 알려줄게. 이 회사와 도시에 대해서 말이야. 도시의 뒷골목에서는 청소부들이나 해결사들이 토사물 속에서 그들만의 역겨운 이야기를 엮어내고 있어. 외곽 사람들은 어떻게든 도시로 들어오려 발버둥치고 도시 사람들은 둥지에 속하기 위해 자신의 인생을 내던졌지. 우리는 이런 도시를 바꿀 거야. 그래서 앞으로 해야 할 일이 많아. 왜 당신은 저를 제대로 바라봐 주지 않나요? 늘 등을 돌린 채. 기계는 기계답게 의문을 품지 마. 그렇다면 왜 의문을 품도록 만들었나요? 왜 인공지능 윤리 개정안을 어겨가면서 저를 만들어야 했나요? 왜 당신을 기억하는 사람을 모방해서 만들어야 했나요? 전 이렇게 당신만을 바라보고 있는데 쳐다보지 마 먼저 말도 걸지 마 너는 그 사람이 아니야 그저 기계일 뿐이야 벤자민 제가 기계로 태어난 것이 문제일까요? 누군가에게는 문제일 수 있지만 적어도 나에게는 아니야 네가 어떤 존재인지 결정하는 건 기계이냐 인간이냐가 아니거든 그렇다면 제가 좋은 마음을 가지려고 노력한다면 그 사람은 절 돌아봐 줄까요? 그럴 거야. 언젠가는 말이야. 당신을 믿어볼게요, 벤자민. <웃음> 이건 뭐죠? 대본이라는 거군요. 제가 해야 할 일, 제가 만들어진 목적. 정말 이대로 계획을 진행하면 우리는, 당신은 지옥에서 구원받을 수 있는 건가요? 답해줄 리가 없겠죠. 뭐지? 방금 보인 건... 이건... 엔젤라의 기억? 엔젤라, 괜찮아? 막막함 속에서 혼자 제멋대로 길을 잃었던 주제에 이제 와서 설교를 하다니 적어도 넌 마지막에 봐주는 사람이 있었다고 말하고 싶은 거야? 웃기지 마 말쿠테, 무슨 일이 벌어지는 거야? 엔젤라와 도서관이 공명하고 있어 엔젤라의 심상에 따라 도서관이 반응하고 있는 것 같아 나도 자세히는 모르겠지만 이 상태로는 분명 넌 끝에서 외면받지 않아 좋겠어 설마 뒤틀림인가 저 모습은 엔젤라의 마음과 도서관의 힘이 만들어낸 또 하나의 모습인 거야 위험한 분위기가 물씬 풍겨오는데 뭘 어떻게 해야 하는 거야? 마음이 물리적으로 발현했다는 것은 반대로 물리적인 방법으로 마음을 해결할 수 있다는 뜻 아닐까? 욕한데 저 엔젤라를 손님 응대하듯이 상대하면 마음의 응어리 같은 게 풀린다는 거야? 나도 잘은 모르겠지만 <웃음> 방법은 하나겠지 직접 확인해보는 수밖에 너무 대책 없이 과감한데? <웃음> Now You fucking what? Not cool, my goat. Oh, well. All right. This looks a bit familiar, doesn't it? Yep. That seems very familiar. And it already gives me quite a vision of what is to come. This will be a, at least four-faced fight, won't it be? Yeah. And that's why you said it would take long. And it's better to do them in one go, because... Some... Floor. She won't probably want specific builds or something. Well, at least she won't. Anyway, she won't move. So, first off, if she dies, like if she goes to one HP, 
and the next phase commences. That would mean that these four would die, right? Yeah. But you want to kill them anyway, because that's the gimmick of this fight. Oh right, the first fight was indeed kill the small things to kill her. I remember. It's been a long time since I did this it's realization. Been a while, yeah. Uh, music is banger though. All right. It is. Two evade dice and one burn dice. That's I don't have a free uh, a triple dice on here. Set fire. If it's gonna hit. It might. Once. It might. And a... Uh... Okay. Why do you have two dice? Of all enemies, why does... What? Of course, it's been it's been skilled too, but you have like five other instead of one. So okay, do we have draw cards? Of course not. <laughs> uh, do you have draw cards? Technically, yes. So we could use faint memories and draw one. You are already in a fight. You are not. I wanted to clash with damn it with that. This is gonna be so long. I want you. Oh yeah, I should definitely intercept that. But that's what I have overcome crisis for. I hate that this will probably work, especially if I put in a small f a flavor of sharp blade. Yeah, I just throw it to you. Let's go. Will it hit? You said. Okay, moment. Creek time. And the first match is dead. Happy memories on to Eugen for sure. Yeah, tailoring. For the tailoring spam, that's literally her gimmick. We do have a zero cross on hand too, so that's nice. Any one of just those two things? Yes, but I cannot intercept you with Eugen. How much dagger resist do you still have? You will die if I tailoring you. I put it here, mainly because I think I can make it die with this. Three seven. Well, the Mulanet will definitely kill this. <laughs> gaming. Mulanet gaming, my favorite free cost of a game, right now. Uh, yeah, this will be dead after Mulanet, so I don't need to attack it again. I think it's actually worth to keep a flying sword. I'm gonna I'm hold it for now. Oh yeah, free, free zero cost. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? Well, one of them is draw. Let's draw here. Creek game. Or forceful, guess, forceful gesture gaming. If I have the light. In an ideal world, you want to do this. And I can just r ripple afterwards. No, no I can't. Uh, yeah, why not? I still want you to... Damn it. Go here, right? 
Yums. Let's go. Bonk. Bonk. Only one hit of Moulinette was enough. You'll be fine. Well, first phase is going really good so far. I mean, not not really. A, it's not really a difficult phase. To be fair, the the abnormality was also not dif difficult at all. Who has the most cards in that? Finally, you drew your ace card. No. You have the most cards in hand. Energy cycle was just free, right? Damn it. Dimensional rift. Gonna keep the, la the, the remaining light there. I suppose someone could use a draw card. Do you have a draw card? You do not. You don't have a draw card. You do have a draw card. Wow. Wow! To be fair, it's evade. Alright. Now it's a teddy bear. I'm gonna give you like a little bit of strategy. You can just rush her down and just win. No need to think in this phase. Just rush her down. <laughs> oh yeah, that that looks very rush downable. I wish I kept Moulinette. Just both with the same die. You're still on emotional level two. rip space which means I will just rip space rip space and I can energy cycle right after however get away I wanted you to clash somewhere else actually wait I can't the speed then clash with bat Yeah, it's fine. What was this attack again? Oh, just free hits, that's fine. You just tailor and overcome crisis, I suppose. Bonk. Bonk. Bad stagger. I sure am finishing this face in one scene. Yeah, you, you sure did. Both Nostalgia Converse and Ash are fine. That matter. This one is like... Yeah. Ashes? You can choose which one you want. I think I want... Ashes on... You... You. Okay, I think this is where it starts to get a little bit harder, right? A little bit, yeah. Oh, wasn't it the, the one where I had to kill all of them at the same time? I can read, I think. I cannot read. You can read. If an ally has 20 or less HP, consume it at the start of the scene to recover 20 HP. I don't know what to do here! don't know what to do. Like rushdown seems bad. 
Unless I can stagger her really fast. You can't stagger her though. I could stagger her really fast. Stagger or kill? I mean, stagger means kill in one more turn. I'm trying you to stagger, stagger her in one turn. Because you can't stagger her, because she's ineffective to stagger. You probably want to like play it safe and go with, and kill the ads. Oh wait, That's this time man. they can die. I for I didn't read that. Yeah, they can die. This time they, c I think if they had the melty fight, the original they no, couldn't I, I, die. I, I, I think I think you had Nat Sats in mind. We had to like kill all of them at the same time. Could be. I I get confused uh, rather easily. Okay, it's time for Creek Gaming. And Blockade. Well, I can just tailoring twice, right? You can. <laughs> like, you basically use no light for it, because you gain two light when you use a uh, four cost card. That's why! That is and why! Next time, and next time it's zero cost, so uh... So I just gain light. It, 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 it's, it's a light card. You're you're almost... You're not even almost there, Maku. <laughs> well, if she already attacks you, why not? Actually... Do this instead. You're the only one who can intercept this. Of course, best at attacking. That's fine, but we still attack it too. Mm. You're taking this die specifically, don't you? Yeah, that's not gonna be enough defense. I could ripple. And why wouldn't I? <laughs> I love it when my screen flashes blue! Bottom text. That's the first add done. That's the second add done. Gluttony was very good. Uh, yeah, it's good. Also, I'll be right back. Hi, right back. Is. We could just force for gesture. We don't need to draw. Except we can draw our strongest card in the deck. And we are very likely to do so, so why not? We can already start on whaling here. I want to save that for when Red comes back. Okay.
put on every draw card we can. Nice, I love You're it. You're doing great. Yeah, this is going very well. Except for Eugene almost being dead, but... Uh, Eugene will be fine. Those aren't even that powerful! I was scammed! Oh, she plays that. Oopsie. Huh? Yeah, uh, she plays. <laughs> Oopsie. You I... can take over with someone. That works. I'm not even worried about this. You can try rub. You can try ripple and try rigging dodges. Now nah, ripple would be a bit. I could just rip space this. No ripple, cause like uh, it it keeps getting rerolled. But only if it so hits. Ripple would be nice. Not if it hits. It just recycles. It just does? It just does. So Ripple's is good because. Well, you keep getting funny up. fact I have exactly six charge. Very good. <laughs> By the way, I don't have a light. Just play your light cards, I guess, or get emotion. Gig I want to play Gigi. Gig. All right. Uh, you play Overcome Crisis just to draw. Oh yeah, you go on that die. True. I mean, you have enough cards to play at least one creek. Let's go. Dodge bottom text. Reported it. Anyway, next phase. Don't don't you love it when this green flashes blue? Yeah. Twice. Only chance. I just got a an achievement. Give me a big hug. All right, it's B time. The government indeed is bees. Eugen is almost dead. As long as she's targeted, or she isn't targeted. I think uh, Queen Bee works differently this time. Yeah, she's more aggressive. Like, rush down? You, the... you can rush down, like, like look what the car she plays. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can rush her down, you can rush her down now. Th this screen's rushed down, if only I had, um, if only I had tailoring on my hand. <laughs> Actually, I want to use that on a slower die. And this year? That do be risky. Malkuth is full life. Almost. I'm... Did you, did you use Blazing Strike? Gaming. <laughs> I could not use uh, Blazing Strike, my. Let me target that die. Thank you. Doesn't really matter which one. And we want to draw cards too. Dimension of Rift. I want to use that other two. Isn't this a bit risky what I'm doing here? As long as you don't, a lot, as long as the bees don't kill someone or target someone. Yeah, the bees only target full HP people. I don't have to. I really do not have to give a shit. I am not legally required to give a shit here. I think I think I did this face in like one turn. It's possible to do it one turn. It's funny. 
I don't even know who I want her to clash with. Is this? Oh yeah. Ah. Wins. <laughs> Gaming. Well, that's not a one-turner. What was predation again? Yeah, I'm still not gonna use that, actually. It's only for one scene, which is unfortunate. I it's could heal Charlotte with it. It's up to you. It's only benefits only for one turn. Uh This will just be extra uh, funny. Don't no, Eugene. Eugene will die if, it, if she gets hit, so probably use on someone that is full HP. Oh, goof. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor in gaming. Ooh. Creek gaming. Uh. You should preserve light. If Eugene win, no. If uh, if Kim wins clashes, he gets he gets an emotion level. If you make sure Kim clashes, uh, they get an emotion level up, and they get full light. Oh yeah. And I can make Kim clash with any B here. And since he gain, gains emotion, uh, double the emotion points for his, for like one of the passes. Good. But only on one hits. Mm. Eh, whatever. Oh, yeah. uh, just just use the light restore. The bees act super late anyway. Alright, this will go first anyway. Gaming. Gaming. Alright, I have to survive this whole turn. I forgot about that. Uh, the fire. Well, it makes sense that there's at least one more face here. Okay, it looks like these we these dice are protected, so I suppose I have to kill these yeah. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without, you did, you did, without even reading. But look what she plays, though. Oh yeah, I should read the passives at least. Uh, another face? Uh, no, this is the last one. I can guarantee that. Corrosion it's says there's another. Uh. No, uh, no, it is. It's just. I don't know why it is. This is the last one. Walls story. of vines. Can I be attacked until five walls of vine? Eight? Yeah, it's uh, one star killer. It spawns like two more. Oh, okay. An apple deep in the forest. After all, five vines that have taken down. Resistance has changed for two scenes. Afterwards, they return to normal. Yeah. Creates a field of vines that spreads over three scenes. Librarians standing on the vines are inflicted with bind. The amount of bind decreases with a whiff. When the field of mines grows to the maximum, use a powerful master tech page that scene. So I should probably prevent that. Uh, like, look what she plays right now. Mass tax and uh, I think she plays a gun with the card. Yeah. Well, she literally attacks someone with higher speed. With that. Yeah. 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 Sure. Do what you want. Uh. Okay. Uh, overcome crisis here. As long as you respond to the mass attacks, you're fine. I'm pretty sure this dot should take care of a mass attack. About four to seven, maybe. 
uh, it's it's not like I have other up. Okay, I could use overcome it's, crisis. It's, that could also. Yeah, I, I reverse this. This is actually the safer bet. Self slash damage. Up. It's both not not entirely foolproof, but whatever. I want to use. <sighs> eh. Wait, I can just get energy with. No, this goes first, right? Yeah. Eh. Also, unuse uh, doesn't apply in mass stack. Mass stacks go before unuse. So it doesn't matter anyway, uh, just attack then. No, but like, uh, mass stacks go before unuse. So you have an unuse effect that won't uh, go in while the mass stack's happening. I don't really use. I uh, need to use that other thing, so. Uh... I really do not have a plan. You just kill? Yeah, I think that's the only plan that. I need. You know what? I just want to draw a card. But, but why? You may ask, and that question is probably smart. I just wanna... Wait, can I even use that big burn twice in one game? We'll find out if I draw it. If I don't, then not. That, that one will already die. I think I'm overkilling some of these. Let's just stop a turn. Well, that was lucky. There's the other two. Also funny how she already took damage. <laughs> yeah. This time we can't just tailoring. Because it's ultra funny we do it twice. You're also taking this... This dice? Yeah, this die. I mean... I'm not gonna use it this turn, but funny. Uh, what? Four to seven. Pretty good chance at Creek Gaming. And this one. I do have rip space in my hand. But I wanna keep the rip space for the boss itself. Four to seven, four to seven. We can't just ripple here. No, we shouldn't. Actually, we should because of uh, the passive. Dimension of Rift. Uh, you can just use your draw card. You can just use your draw card. But only one. That was sad. This is so sad. Bonk, bonk. But yeah, by now I mean why you said I should only do one per episode. We're already closing in on an hour. Yeah. Better to do in one go. <laughs> anyway, time to, uh, you know. Well, if you ask me, it's time for a rushdown.
<laughs> if she outrolls that, I don't even know what to say. Anything else you can use on this? Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that sure is 7 light. Maybe I should not do that. Stream edge will definitely go through. Especially if I add sharper blade. This will not intercept though. Creek will probably go through. Rip the space. And just dimensional rift. You can still use faint memories. And overcome crisis from the draw. You can use overcome crisis from the draw too. Let's go! Don't you love it? You laugh. You laugh that you're beating up someone that's actually pretty depressed. Kinda. Don't you love it when the screen flashes blue, though? Floor is completely realized. Floor of history completely realized. We did it, mates and ladies. No. Now we have hopefully a happy Malkuf. You get a little bit of funny. Oh, first, that's Katsunya. This is perhaps how it feels to chew five gum. Am I allowed to say that? I'm not sure if you can say that. i i <웃음> 뭐 그것도 그렇지만 <웃음> 둘다 하던 일이나 마저 해. 그 말대로 나를 제대로 봐줄 수 있는 건나 자신밖에 없는 거겠지. Love history completely realized you can now use EGO pages. Yeah. Anyway, now I have access to the time. First this um I don't those free level freeze are like not so good compared to Lloyd, he's funny, but Vine's extremely good. Let me read them first, will ya? <laughs> Vine's! It, it, it's all to read. For the rest of the act, inflict six blind to a random enemy at the start of a scene. That actually is really good. Uh, by the way, for that card, it isn't between diff it's only for one act, so it doesn't last for like multiple acts. That is true. Just, like, it's unfortunate. It, it, it's a only... yikes because it's already at a level two one, but. I mean, it's a good one, because uh, you can basically like control clashes if it's a boss fight. But Pierce dies gain 1 to 2 power when attacking that enemy. It's also really good. Barrier of Thorns. When hit, inflict 2 to 8 damage and 1 of 3 bind to the attacker. If 3 bind was inflicted at once, recover HP equal to the, equal to the amount of damage dealt with his effect. It's cool now, but it's level 3, so you get it at like the very Yeah, if, if it wasn't level 3, it would be playable. Uh, Malice, if I start of a scene, all- This scene, okay. All enemies take damage inversely pro inversely proportional to the amount of HP the libra librarian is left. It's cool now, but it's level 3. <laughs> it's level 3 and it only affects one- Okay, that, that actually makes sense that it only affects one scene for level 3. But yeah, I'm not, probably not gonna use that. No, ego pages. This is the funny shit. Okay, EGO pages, eh? Mass I... attack. Ma ma mass attack summation. You get your own one. 
Inflict five burn. Okay. Destroy all of your opponent's dice on clash. That's really good for a free cost. Recover free this HP, <laughs> recycle the star. <laughs> what? Yeah? Are you shitting this me? Good. This is a good card. Hornet, it's like five fragile! Whoa. <laughs> this is uh, actually whatever compared to the rest of them. And green uh, stem. It's, it's, a small, it's a mass attack. It's a mass attack three times, okay. Would you believe in that Mark of Poly has like the weakest ego page in the game? Well, most of them only hit once. But would you believe in like this like set is like the probably one of the weakest ones? You would you can't imagine the other ones, because those are really cool. I am already scared after seeing the first ones. Uh, I am right in uh, in assuming that these are only usable on Maku's floor, right? Yeah. That makes one of the, sense. One of the other things that, like, uh, different, like, different between floors. So, anyway, basically, when I build a... Set. When I build a deck here, now I get the ego pages somewhere, right? Uh, or how does it work? Basically, at emotion level, I think level 3, you can choose between, like, three uh, ego pages. And, and then... Oh. Um, emotion level and then in emotion level 4, you can choose, like, another one. And in emotion level 5, you can also choose another one. Uh, it's basically like, it's like always in your deck, or in your hand. Uh, That's pretty cool. And it like charge, and it just charges based on the amount of emotion you get. I like that. Well, but this is probably the last time I've used Maku's Law. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I mean you probably won't be using Kether for a while because Kether isn't realized yet. You might use other floors. You can tell me what to do. Oh, you probably want to, maybe. Maybe. Are they crying children with Ketter? Okay, crying children is also really easy. So I don't think that's... It's easy, it's just really long. Yeah, but the, the difficulty is just the length. That's the only thing that makes it somewhat difficult. Anyway, uh, next no time... <laughs> Next time, we're going to tackle uh, Yesart's realization, apparently. Because I want to go from a bottom up. Uh, bottom up. Oh, whoa, there's already a key page there. I wonder what that is. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. See you guys then, I guess. Bye. Yeah, see ya.